That final pass from Mossop to Lima. He's on a hat trick. It's from Dummy Half with ball in hand. But his side having to defend here, and Lima's over. Jeff Lima punching his way through that Leeds line. And it's a set. 17 minutes to go, eight points the difference. And don't forget when we finish the red button for him. Oh. Little shuffle up from Dummy Half who will forward. He's allowed to play over Lima. Lima slides in. Did he still have control as he got over the line? The referee said he has. He's an unlikely winger hero, but he might just be turning into that. One in the first half, one in the second. The old one-two provides the sucker punch to Kicking off with it in the cherry and white. Two really traditional colours. Two really traditional sides going head-to-head -to -head today. There can only be one. It's a strong line. This Wigan team can defend really well. Robbie Paul is on the touchline. What have you made of this, Robbie? Well, I've got to say, I'm surprised, but I'm also very pleased that Wigan are playing the top. ...down into that left-hand corner. Utilise the sun in the faces of this Wigan outfit, but look at this, the amount of yardage. Lula White could play the ball, and that's the, the key factor as far as the Warriors are concerned. Danny Maguire, but watch out with oh, nice. yeah, that's good, man. I wait. Creator of the last try for Charnley. The superb Come handling. Hock, good offload. Here comes Lima. Yeah, Phil made the point earlier about Sam Tompkins' defence, and we all. Today, but I don't think Tony Smith will be sat at home wondering who he's going to pick. Coaches make the decision, they pick the team over here, they've got the best chance of beating. Gary Hetherington with Bill Arthur. In possession, only his third game this season. He'll be vying, I suppose, now to maintain his place in that 17. If you're part of the first team squad, away. I'm on, and here comes the first run from Jeff Lima. He went past Adler, there was a good job that Jerry Jones Buchanan was there the season consistently outstanding there first and Leeds have been in and out consistently inconsistent I think is how Kevin Sinclair described it they've knocked on here and are six at the moment and that's just the, the defense it was a crucial time in the game and Catalan have committed an awful lot to this opening spell at some cost though because Remy Casti has had to come off in their own half that was sloppy there's no other word for it lack of enthusiasm two very very poor passes one goes to ground the Catalan is Bailey Marilyn Ron Gorman from the uh, Leeds prop. Oh, he's lost it. He's sloppy and a bit tentative as well, but that's a better hit from the skipper, John O'Loughlin. One, move! Sean O'Loughlin big in the tackle then. A try last week against St. Helens. His 20th playoff appearance and Menzies is hurt. I'm not surprised it was a late challenge by Jeff Lima. Not against the rules and regulations because Menzies was still moving in the... Kick the ball about 40 metres downfield. Ragan, good hounding by this Wigan defence on the last, they're trapped inside. It's Maguire, Ablett, from the Wigan defenders. So here comes Peacock, soft by him. That's the little player Wigan of yours. And Finch, the men penalised, the Melbourne connection, they both arrived at the start of this season. First, from that move! Club. Oh, go. There's Monaghan. It appeared that neither side were interested in the high kick. Finch tried to give you a kid the reference. We're going to head 6 2. Peacock obviously got a bit of a bang on the uh, the head, wearing the the bandana. Minutes to go here, two points the difference. Sam St. Jones Bishop. Sam Tompkins wanted that to stay in the field of play. Oh, oh, oh. 
Brett Finch, but none for Wigan as yet. First half, no love loss out there, that's for sure. Jimmy Jones Buchanan nearly got the pass away.